Hello, y'all. What's up, you guys? What's up? We went to Sammy's Kebabs today in LIC Queens. They have two locations, one in Astoria and then one in LIC. I don't really know, but we went to this one on Crescent Ave, so. No, we're no. on the one on Vernon We went Boulevard. on the one on Vernon Boulevard. Welcome back to another video. We, so we got mad food from Sammy's. They're an Afghanistan restaurant, like Afghani food. So our first time ever experiencing it. But all I needed to see on the menu was that they had hummus and kebab. So, and then, then just hooked us from there, so. Yes, first time trying Afghani food, literally. Yes. All right, open up the food pack, I'm hungry. We got mad, like we got small plates, kebabs, and then a dessert. Because we didn't want like full entrees with rice and stuff right now. We got hummus, yeah, so this is, ooh, it looks really good. It's thick. Ooh, it's warm, thick, and fluffy. Look at that. I feel like it's kind of thin, actually. It's not I thick. I think it's thick. It's like kind of like this. Is this non-bread or peanut? No, it's not non bread. Non-bread. I'm struggling to get over here. What? The hummus looks freaking amazing. It does, honestly. Let me take the top off. This is what the hummus looks like. It's like a huge tin of hummus. And then it looks like it has like red pepper on it, mad seasoning on top, like... They honestly blacked with the amount of hummus, like poor. Yeah, we're gonna have to end up taking that, uh, basically half this food home because it's huge. Like. Yeah. Not my press on nail slipping off. This is weird. Mm, okay. Mm. The seasoning. Our seasonings are crazy on this. Oh my god. Mm. I have no words right now. I feel like this non bread is perfect with the hummus. I don't think I've honestly had a hummus this good in like years, honestly. Mm. I don't know if I've ever had hummus like this with this much seasoning. I feel like you could taste the red pepper flakes. Mm -hmm. It's like nice and oily, but the hummus itself is mad good. Like, oh my god, this hummus, top three hummus I've ever had in my life. I'm saying that right now. Mm. This is mm. not like regular plain hummus, this mm -mm. is like seasoned hummus. Mm -hmm. The best. This is next. We got the get the name. You have the receipt because I, I got it up it. right here. I'm prepared today. This is and this is served with their homemade garlic mint yogurt sauce, which I don't think we got actually. Yeah, there's a sauce in this. Oh, side. there is. Slay. Okay. All right, ready. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god, the potatoes in that are fire. It tastes like a <gasps> crispy potato. Mmm. Pocket. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, the sauce is so good. It tastes like potatoes and leeks, but it's so freaking good and it's mad crispy. Imagine like crispy oven roasted potatoes, but in like a flat pocket. Like yes, that's exactly what's like. everything. Mm. Okay. This is amazing. Perfect appetizer, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like something about this, like the crispiness with the potatoes. I love mm -hmm. potato. Solid 10 out of 10 for me. <clears throat> like this is mad freaking good. Outside edge is like the most crispy. Sammy's kebab, they did something with that. Okay. They did something with that. Delicious. I'm like, do I want another little bite? I low-key want more. 100% go back for the bologna collage. You're like, uh, next we have Dahlia's pick. Let me open it up. Also really quick, thank you to anyone who's been watching our videos and all the support and love along the way. We love and support you guys back. So just thank you so much, honestly. Period. Hurry. A quick little to everyone watching. Let me start to open this. It sounds amazing. Close a little bit. Okay. All right, let's go. Why do I feel like these are gonna be so addicting? I know. Like I'm already prepared. Mm. Amazing. I knew they were gonna be amazing, but these are. Yo! The texture on the dumpling is super soft. I've never had a dumpling this soft ever, ever. in my life. I feel like it kind of melts in your mouth <clears throat> low-key. Like yeah. You barely have to chew it. The dumpling literally melts in your mouth. So does the beef on the inside. This is so 
god this the inside literally like buttery like buttery beef yes. on the inside if that sounds weird i don't know like you said it's melt in your mouth dumpling like what they're literally falling apart the vendor but mm. it tastes like um like i feel like i'm tasting the split peas and i'm also tasting the sauce mm -hmm. like it tastes like a nice stewed beef mm. i knew i was gonna love that but i love it even more than i freaking thought Same. Like, like the mantu please Get oh the my man too. I don't know. Ugh. There's one more you can have it. Or you want to split it? Yeah, split <laughs> it. Might be hard to split because it's so. Doing it something at Sammy's Kebabs, all right? They're doing something over there. Mm. About to get me a little smoothie after. I see that truck right down there. See it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a smoothie after. It's, you're on now to the main dishes, which is the kebabs. Yes. So, all the small plates were a freaking hit. So, exactly. Kebab me. You like to eat skewers and kebabs off the stick, obviously, but they just yes. can't fit into the to, to go containers, which we didn't like think of. Ordered it wrong, or whatever the case may be. I but think it's just it can't fit to go, but this is what it looks like. This is the shrimp and Afghani spices. So, it smells amazing. Zing, like. literally and the shrimp is like red like whatever spices they put this in is about to be bomb like there's like the, obviously the yogurt sauce on the side and there's green sauce which i don't know what that is it smells really good like not like pickles but something Ooh, that smells good okay it smells fresh okay. i want i like a good skewer where i like to eat meat off a stick I like know. a savage All right ready first oh afghani shrimp skewer mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Amazing. I feel like it's simple, but the shrimp flavor is like popping through everything. I feel like the flavor is a little bit more subtle. Yeah. But you're tasting the shrimp all together. Like that's the, I don't know, it's simplistic, but good. Yeah, it's not like as spicy as I thought. Yeah. I'm trying the green sauce. Mmm, okay. The green sauce makes it. The green sauce is everything. Oh, the green sauce spicy. is spicy. <laughs> Ooh. I'm exactly sure what kind of sauce it is. Yeah, but it has a kick to it. I'm trying the yogurt. The shrimp is banging though. Mm -hmm. mm. Cooked to perfection, I will say. I ate that too quick. Mmm, okay. I like it in the white sauce, I think a little more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like for the skewers, you definitely need the sauce because without the sauce, they're kind of just like more of a simple yeah. spiced taste, but the sauce is definitely like elevated. The shrimp hit. The shrimp really did hit. Type yeah. of thing. And it doesn't really have that like charred grill flavor, which I was expecting, but I still think it's really, really good. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. <sighs> we have two to go, which is chicken and lamb. Let's see what she pulls out of the bag. Not this leaking. Oh. Literally all the food is leaking because of the freaking juices. Oh my god, I just got the whiff. It's free spiced chicken. Probably want, gonna, you wanna split one? Yeah, I feel like those are huge, yeah. honestly. Okay. okay. I'm gonna attempt to split this. Obviously, when you get these as entree, not just single, it comes with the rice. I All right, I need sauce, honey. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, the spices on that are crazy. And then tender. Mm. Oh my god, yeah, the spices are crazy. Whatever Afghani spices they put on this. Mm. Um, the meat. Mm. It's not dry at not, all. I was just about to say, it's not dry at all. Oh my god. It's tender, it's moist. Juicy, yeah, yeah, yeah. The spices they use are different. I'm oh my god. Cream sauce. Please look at how much, like, I don't know if this is going to focus, to be honest. But if you can see inside the meat, like you can literally see how much seasonings and spices are actually inside the meat. Yeah. And you taste all of them. I have no idea what they season it with, but the actual meat. Yeah. It's not just like the seasoning on top. Oh, so fire. Okay. Mm. Really, really good. The flavors on this are mm -hmm. crazy. Again, it's similar to the shrimp. Like it doesn't have that charred flavor. It's like different, but mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is really good. This is one I would definitely get again for mm -hmm. sure as well. Everything I would get again so far. Everything, yeah, literally <laughs> everything. Everything has been banging. I feel like I like this a little bit more than the shrimp because of the seasoning. Okay, I like the yeah. seasoning on this more than the yeah. shrimp. But I didn't know Afghani food was gonna slap this hard. Like me either. Like period. yeah. Sammy's kebabs. If you have any other suggestions, please let us know. <sighs> okay. Uh. Oh wait, he put mad extra sauce in here. I didn't even see until now. Yeah. Woo! Now it's just going through these dishes back to back like I this. Know. It smells amazing. There's like six or seven pieces in the tin. 
Yeah. All right, let's go. I feel like the smell alone is making me like salivate. Yeah. Little lamb chunk. Yeah. Okay, slay. I'm gonna try it plain first, I think. I'm going Smokies. in with the sauce first. All right, hit it. Mm. I literally say like if lamb would be from Afghanistan. Like, I don't know, I can't explain <laughs> that. Like, okay. The lamb texture, fire. Mm hmm. Mm, okay. The lamb is a little more chewy. Yeah. Mm. The lamb is a little chewy and thick. Mm hmm. But it's not like chewy in like a nasty way, if that makes sense. Like, no, yeah, it's, it's lamb. So, like, the flavor on it, whatever they flavored it, is mad good. Yes. Mm. I think the lamb too is a little bit more subtle in flavor. Like how we were saying the shrimp is more subtle. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like I feel like this, if this makes sense, you can taste the flavor really well, but it's a very subtle flavor, if that makes sense. Like, like the shrimp and the lamb, they're seasoned, but they're seasoned in the way where the lamb and the shrimp just stand out as their own. Yes. The chicken is more seasoned. I mean, mm -hmm. so like, one, they're independent, but like the chicken, she needs a little bit of help. That's true. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, also on the side, put some white sauce on it. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Mm. Round two, us just eating grilled meats in our car, like. Literally. So bomb. It literally is. I can see how this would prepare perfectly with rice. Yeah. Uh, I need to stop, I need to slow down. I know, I mean, so I just swallowed and I felt like my stomach didn't get too full. Sir, where are you parking? Uh, a part of me says eat one more, and then part of me is like just save it because I know myself. Uh, I can't. <sighs> Alright, y'all. So we're moving on to our last dish, which is dessert, obviously. Obviously, and for so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It. Ooh. Oh. This is what the dessert looks like. This is a fierne. We only got fierne. We only got the one dessert, but they had three options. They had baklava and then some like other um like Afghani rice pudding. So yeah. Ooh, the text. Look at that. Y'all. It's jiggling. Look, this is what the, te the texture. It's jiggly. Ooh. Alright, Fierne bite. Mmm. Mmm. I taste the rose in there. I do too. Mmm. Oh my god, wait. Mmm. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh my god, this is amazing. Sorry. Oh, got two. Wow. What the heck? The more I eat it, I'm like, wait, this is actually really good. This is, honestly, this is perfect for this type of weather. It's light, it's creamy, it's freaking fresh. The ingredients are simple, but they stand out. Like, you got the pistachio, the rose, the... And y'all, I feel like it literally does taste like a sweet milk custard. Yeah. And the rose in it is subtle, though. It's not, like, mad yeah. potent. Mm. Well, we should have got two. Like, I need my own. Mm. I need my own. Like, first of all, the texture is still crazy. Like, mm -hmm. what is this? I don't know how they got the texture to be mm. like. I'm usually not a custard person just because of the texture. Like, when it comes to food, textures like this are not my favorite. But this is actually something I would literally eat again. A hundred percent. If I had to choose a custard dessert to ever eat, knowing that I don't like it, I would get the Fierne. I don't know what they did at Sammy's, but. Everything like, we have tried is amazing. Oh. Literally. Good. Like, this to me is so bomb in a way I can't explain. Like, I like know. sweet custard. There wasn't a single dish here that I didn't like or anything. Like, everything was on mm -hmm. point from Sammy's mm -hmm. kebabs. Like, I gorgeous. Hi. Hi. Ooh, the mixed drink is all. Awesome. The milkshake is all food. Y'all, I had to stop and get me a little smoothie. I had basically, like, 10, 15 different flavors, so I had to stop and get me a little smoothie. And I got the number six, which was... Like tropical Storm or something? Yeah, it was like tropical. I think it had like strawberries, pineapple, something like that. But it's like a mix of fruit. That's gonna be mad refreshing. Yes, it was $10, so... Yeah, it was $10 for this, so... And then we get some ice cream with sprinkles, so she's gonna eat that, and then we'll go get my sprinkles, and... We just literally ate so much food, but here we are again. So. Exactly. Okay, y'all, it's a couple hours later and we're getting some, like, we're getting from this place called Bananas. We've been here once before and I'm craving it again, so. Yes. Bananas. After all that food we ate, we're on to the next. Even after some ice cream and a smoothie. It's been like an hour though, at least. It's been definitely a couple of hours. Yeah. But anyways, we're about to get some bananas and we'll catch you guys in a second. Hi, how are you? 
cool. Can I get that? It's like it's kind of like weirdly sunny. Yeah. Free tickets, viewers! She said free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do you want free tickets, viewers? <laughs> No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. That Filipino hot dog sounds good though, mm -hmm. right? It does. I get up immediately. Good. <laughs> Y'all, we came to Bao Nana's at the perfect time because they had a little cookout going outside. And they were shutting down, so they were trying to give the food away for free. So we got a free Filipino hot dog. Of course, we got some banana and iced coffee because they already know. And just some beverages to end the day off right. All right, guys. We out. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. Thank you, guys. So, do you guys... <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. You're loved... <laughs> And appreciated so very much. Yes, you guys are. I'm just losing it at the end of the day, but yes. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Drive us on home, please. Drive us on home. Yes, we're driving home. Love you and appreciate you. And Signing can't wait out. to see you in next week's video, babes. Love you. Bye.